All right, it's 10 o'clock. Let's see. All right. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 20th, 2020. And welcome to another episode of Monday Mornings with Matt. I am author illustrator Matt Tavares. And I am uh, excited to, to draw with all of you again today. Um, all right, here's the plan for today. I was, I was uh, doing a Zoom chat yesterday with my nephews, Will and Jack. Hi, Will and Jack, if you are here drawing this morning. Um, and I asked for some suggestions on things we could draw. So um, I got a few suggestions. I think the first one I'm going to do today, this is one that Will suggested. Uh, he wanted to draw a penguin. So I thought that would be fun to draw a penguin. Um, so here's the plan today. We're going to draw a penguin. And then I'm going to share a few of the, uh, the awesome drawings that people sent me over the past week. And then at the end, I can answer some questions. So if you think of anything you want to ask me, um, feel free to just write it in the comments. I think I'm set up here so I can see your comments. It's part of my, part of my weekly show is to be a little confused at the beginning. I see a comment there from Sarah Malcolm. Hi, Matt. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for joining me again. Um, yeah, and if you're here, just post a comment. I want to see that people are here. Maybe let me know where, you, where you're from. It's cool to see, uh, see where people are uh, as we're all here drawing together. Um, so yeah, we'll draw the penguin. Um, I'll do the same kind of step-by-step -step thing I've been doing every week. And um, then I'm going to share some artwork. And then the end, we'll do some questions. And that's about it. So let's get started. I'm going to switch to my little uh, split screen view here so you can see my paper. I am drawing again with some pencils. These are my, these are kind of my favorite pencils to draw with these days. They're uh, Krita Color Nero Soft pencils. Um, I see the Eastwoods are here. Hey guys. All right trying uh, to use my big monitor this week so I can see all the different windows at the same time and hopefully not get confused. All right. Um, so let's draw a penguin. Now I have to admit one thing. When I, when I draw something, it really helps me to have a picture of it. Like if I'm going to draw a penguin and I haven't seen a penguin in a long time, it's hard to just make up a penguin. So I went online and I, I looked for some pictures of penguins. So I have a penguin reference photo that I am I am looking at to help me draw a penguin and that's what I do like when I when I worked on my book Dasher which I happen to have right here there's Dasher um, the main characters are reindeer so instead of just making up what I think a reindeer looks like I actually went to the zoo and I looked at some real live reindeer and I took a bunch of pictures uh, and videos um, of reindeer so then uh, when I was drawing all the pictures for Dasher I could look at those photographs to make sure I was getting my reindeer right so right now I'm looking at this picture of a penguin and um, and I'll just get started. Now, just like I said with my other pictures, if you've watched my other videos, um, you know that I always like to start with simple shapes. I'm not going to start with little tiny details, trying to get his beak just right and, and, and the little uh, the webbed feet and all that stuff. So, um, so I'm going to start with big, big, easy, simple shapes. I uh, see we have some more people here. Marina is here. Hi, Marina. Awesome. Um, now, a penguin's body is really just a big oval. And you might remember if you've drawn the other animals with me, I usually start with an oval, whether I'm drawing a bird or a reindeer or uh, or I guess this is, I don't know if I've done any other animals at this point. But but yeah, this is, um, I'm going to start with, a, with an oval and sort of a standing up oval. So I'm just going to go nice and big, sort of like that. And these first marks, I'm not pushing down really hard and worrying about getting it just right. Hopefully that shows up on your page, on your on your screen there well enough. But I'm just making a big, sort of like a like an egg standing on its on, on one end. Um, now when I when I started drawing a reindeer, I had an oval that was going kind of sideways, and then the head was a circle. Um, and it was a little further away because because reindeer kind of have that that long neck. Now a penguin, as I'm looking at this this photograph of a penguin. The head kind of rests right on top. So I'm just going to put a little circle right up here. So now we've got an oval and a circle. Same two shapes when I draw, you know, red from Red and Lulu. It's uh, kind of how I start a lot of things. Um, now that we have those two simple shapes, 
I'm going to mark where the uh, the penguins have these funny little wings coming out the side. They're they are funny animals. They're cute. Um, so I'm going to make a one of the little is it like a flipper or a wing? I don't even know what you call it. One comes out that side. Got people in uh, Pennsylvania here. Hi, Liz. Cindy Jean. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, all right, so we've got that flipper. I'm going to do the other one. I'm not a penguin expert. I don't know if they're called wings or flippers or what. Um, so we got one coming out each side. Penguins are fun. I should do a penguin book. So now they've got their feet. I'm going to make this penguin walking. So the bottom of the the oval there, I'm going to make kind of a line like that so so we can make it look like one one foot is flat on the ground and one is kind of lifted up. Um, penguins are they're kind of they're fun to watch when they walk. Um, so I'm going to make the ankle come down like this. And then this foot um, I'm going to make it just flat on the ground. So it's sort of just like a almost like a triangle with a kind of big flat side there. Like people want me to do a penguin book. Maybe I will. I'll try, I'll try to think of a good penguin book. Maybe Red and Lulu fly to the North Pole, or is it the South Pole where penguins live? I think they're from the South Pole. I don't know anything about penguins. Um, for the other foot, same thing. I'll make these two lines kind of for the ankle. You just see a little bit of their ankle come down. And then I'll make a line like this. Another triangle, just showing that that foot is lifted up. So then it'll look like our penguin is walking. Um, all right, now we've got the basic shape of the penguin. I'm going to get into some details now. Now the penguin beak kind of comes out like this. So that side of the face will just make kind of uh, kind of this pointy little shape coming out. And then the penguin's eye, we're only going to see one eye because he's kind of facing to the side. So sort of a little circle right here. And now we can start to go over these shapes, like the, the oval and the circle. I feel like those, those look pretty right, but I can kind of draw right over them um, and connect them, of course. Kind of a, a smooth line to connect the head to the body. Can make a, a line right through the middle of the beak there. And this is kind of a fun thing to draw too because you really don't have to be too exact. You know, like when I'm drawing up like a person's face, we're so used to looking at people's faces that if something's a little off, we really notice. But if I'm drawing a penguin, um, there's a lot of room for a lot of room for error, which is nice. Makes it a little easier. Um, same thing with the wings. I'm just going to go over these lines. Just kind of darken them in. And sometimes if I'm drawing something, when I make those first lines, I realize, ooh, that's like way too big or it's way too off to the side. And then, then it's easy. I can just, I can just draw over it and, and kind of shift things as I'm drawing. That's why I like to make those first lines not too dark. But I feel like this oval shape, that feels enough like a penguin to me. Um, so I can kind of just draw right over it. And uh, I've heard that called locking it in. Like when you when you know that shape looks just right, you can kind of lock it in with that darker line. Um, now the penguin I'm looking at, which honestly I have no clue what kind of penguin this is, it has um, sort of a white belly and then it has black around the back. So I think that um, that's worth adding some color here. Which I'm just I just have a black pencil. So I'm just gonna add some black and the shade in around these edges here. The sort of the shape that goes goes like that. And everything up here, well I guess there's there's actually some white coming down there. And then everything up here, I'm just kind of with my pencil by holding it at a at a bit of an angle. Like you can put your pencil straight down and make a line, uh, but this pencil, especially after you've been drawing it f with it for a little while, 
if you if you lean it kind of to the side um, it's easier to shade things in I know I haven't really done any shading in, in these in these videos so far but but that's one way that uh, that you can practice shading um, you know this one this one tool can make a lot of different kinds of marks whether it's a, a skinny line um, a or, or more of like filling in a whole big area with a dark color so that's what I'm going to do for this penguin here. Same thing on this wing. You can just kind of see a little bit of the black from the back of the the wing or flipper or whatever, whatever it's called. Hopefully we have we don't have too many penguin experts watching thinking this guy doesn't know anything about penguins. Um, Alright, so now we've got and then the belly will just keep white. Now you, maybe you can do some shading down the bottom here too if you want to, um, you know, just shadow. Like we're thinking, if the if the light is coming from above, and this is a three dimensional penguin, um, there might be some some shadow down here. And for this, I'm doing the same thing as up here. Just I'm not pushing down as hard. Um, so it is uh, got a message there from Ryan Higgins. Nice penguin. Thank you. Probably drawn a few penguins in his day. Um, and I see we have uh, Rachel here from Austin. Awesome. And Josh likes the idea of Red and Lulu visiting penguins. Maybe I need to I need to think about that. Oh, and hey, Mark. Fun seeing all these messages here. A blue jay, maybe. I could I could probably do a blue jay. Um, all right, we've got now these feet. These are still just little triangles. So I'm going to. Um, Add some details. They have these little, look sort of like uh, little claws almost. Wouldn't have guessed that. I guess I've never really looked closely at penguin feet. But now I'm using the pencil, uh, sort of the more tip, the tip end of the pencil, just to kind of get some of these details. Um, and as I'm drawing, a lot of times I'll, I'll sharpen my pencil. I just have these these nice little pencil sharpeners. Um, sometimes I, I like how the pencil works when it's not sharpened, depending on what I, what kind of thing I'm drawing. Their wings are called what is what are their wings called? I just saw a message here. My my friend Ryan Higgins, you might know his books too, like Mother Bruce. He has some awesome books, and he knows a lot about animals. Um, so he just texted saying their their wings are called something, and now I can't see it. Ah. Um, spatulas I don't know if he's just messing with me that seems weird but maybe they are maybe they are he probably just wanted to see if I would say it on the video so their wings are called spatulas according to Ryan T Higgins someone can look that up and let me know if he's just messing with me see if I'd say it Um, oh, the Barbinis are on there. Awesome. Hi, Taylor and Phoebe and Chelsea and Ryan. Um, let's see. All right, back to my penguin here. And if you guys, if you think of questions during this, feel free to just post them in the comments, and I'll scroll through after, and uh, and hopefully uh, I can I can find all of them. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make. The penguin just kind of standing on the ground here. Make a line. I think the penguin's pretty much done. Unless anyone sees anything that I missed. Um, I might add a little a little uh, background. And I thought it'd be fun for this one just to, to leave uh, the background up to you guys. Um, so I'm going to um, I'm going to put a line back here. So maybe the penguin's on some kind of uh, some kind of iceberg he's on some snowy snowy place and this could be like the water in the distance um, and just to make it look like there's space remember how um, in in some of the other drawings we we talked about how when something is up close it looks big and when something's far away it looks small so maybe there's something coming out of the water maybe there's a the tail of a whale or a narwhal or who knows um, maybe I'll put a boat I'll put a boat down here so then you know it's water and I'll just kind of put a very simple little boat shape. Um, you know, maybe it's a sailboat. 
We can do a triangle there. But you can put whatever you want in the water there. But maybe in the distance beyond that we see like other kind of hills. So the penguin is, is up close. Maybe I'll even add um, some clouds in the sky. And we can tell that they are in the distance. You can add whatever you want here. Maybe there, are, maybe there are other penguins with our penguin. I know a lot of times they all there are a whole bunch of penguins together. All right, I think I will stop my penguin there. Um, any of you guys, if you have questions, this would be an awesome time to to write your question in the comments. Will says that they are called flippers. I thought I thought spatulas sounded a little weird. Um, but you never know. Ryan does know a lot about animals. Um, oh, maybe I'll keep my drawing here for now uh, when I am looking through some questions. So Mark has asked, can you explain the grip and how you keep your hand relaxed the way um, my grip seems? It's funny, as I'm drawing, a lot of times I don't think I'm even thinking about how I'm holding my pencil. Um, and I hold it different ways. I feel like if I watch this video later, I'll probably look at it and think, what What are you doing? Um, there are times I hold my pencil like this. I've always held my pencil and my pen a little weird. Um, I, and I, when I was in elementary school, my teachers would give me those little triangle grip things uh, to try to get me to hold it right. And then I'd go right back to doing it this way. Um, it's kind of how I've always held my pencil. I'm most comfortable with that. If I'm drawing little details, I think I do kind of hold it close to the close to the the tip of the pencil and really get in like that if I'm you know probably when I was shading in a big area I might have I might have held it more like this um, it's sort of what feels comfortable I, I think as I'm uh, as I'm drawing more loosely I do tend to hold it further further from the the tip of the pencil and I kind of just um, it's, it's a much looser grip but um, but yeah it all kind of uh, honestly I don't even think about it as I'm doing it a lot of times I, if I see a picture of myself, even like signing books or something, I think, ooh, that looks really weird. Um, but that's just how I've always held my pencil. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Will says they're flippers. We have another person saying they're flippers. Spatulas. Nobody thinks they're called spatulas, Ryan. I knew he was just messing with me. Um, Will says that a bunch of penguins together is called a colony. I never knew that. I believe Will. He wouldn't just be, he wouldn't just be messing with me on my on my Facebook live video. Um, all right, you guys think of some questions. If you have any, I will look at them after. I'm going to um, show you some of the awesome artwork that people have sent me over the last week or so. And if you uh, if you just drew a penguin with me or if you're still working on your penguin, I would love to see your artwork. Um, you could either, if you're watching this live on Facebook, you could uh, post it in the comments under this video afterwards. Um, these videos all will be posted on my website as well on tavarisbooks.com. Um, so if you're not catching it live, um, you could either send it to me email through my website or you could um, you could post it on social media if you include the hashtag draw with Matt that'll make it easier for me to find it or just tag me that would work too um, so I got some cool pictures let me let me go through here so here I think that was Sophia's maybe and she did a Red Sox player even though her dad is a big Yankee fan I know that was very rebellious of Sophia but awesome drawing I love it. These are ones from last week when we drew baseball players. Um, oh, and this I think was by Jack. Awesome drawing. You got really creative with that. And then here's another baseball drawing by Will. It looks like he's mocking the Yankees there. It says Yankee Doodle Dandy. I like it. Um, some other baseball drawings. So cool. I love it. You guys did such a good job with that. Just the, you know, you can see the the foreground, the middle ground, and the distance, you know, just, just drawing space there. Um, let's see. Ryan Higgins says, don't listen to them. 
I don't know who to believe anymore. All right, some more baseball drawings. I love that one. You can really see the pitcher is up close, and then you see the shortstop, and you see the, uh, the outfielder back there. Um, some people sent me some Red and Lulu drawings this week. You can do that too. Like if you're, if you're catching up with the, you know, if maybe you just discovered the videos this week and you want to go back and do the other ones, I'd love to see your, your reindeer drawings or your cardinal drawings or, or whatever you, you do. That one, I thought that was mine at first, but um, the buildings are a little different. So this is one that someone sent in. Awesome. So those are great. I'm going to go back to my uh, back to just this. Um, so thank you to everyone who sent in your artwork. Um, I would love to see. I would love to see some more if you guys just uh, just drew a penguin with me. And thank you uh, to Will for suggesting the penguin. That was fun to draw. And if anyone has other suggestions for things we could draw, I think I'm going to do this every Monday at least through the month of May. Um, so we've got some we've got some more Mondays to to fill, and I need to find some fun things to draw. Penguins are definitely a fun animal to draw. They uh, they've got a lot of character. Um, so does anyone have any other questions? Lots of lots of penguin facts. So that's good. We're all learning a little bit about penguins. Um, I don't see any other questions. Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing any here. If anyone thinks of questions later, if you're watching this video but you didn't catch it live, feel free to uh, to post a question in the comments, and hopefully I will I will see it, and I'll try to I'll try to take a look later, and uh, and I'll make sure to uh, to answer all your questions. Oh, we have a suggestion: um, an elephant, a blue jay, an elephant. I actually had elephant uh, was one I was thinking of doing this week until I got this penguin suggestion yesterday from Will. So. I'll definitely do an elephant one of these weeks, and I could do a blue jay. They're pretty cool birds. I go through all the baseball birds. I've got cardinals, blue jays, maybe orioles. Um, all right, I think I will stop there. Um, thank you all. Oh, wait a second. I have a question from from Ryan. How long does it take to draw a whole page, Matt? Um, it it varies. It depends on the picture. Um, you know, some pages, like I have Dasher sitting right here, so I'll, I'll say there are some pages where, um, let's see if, if I can find some where there are lots of details. Like this is, this is one, um, this is actually the cover illustration too, but um, lots of little details there. That one took a while. Um, there are some pages where, you know, if it's more sky and the sky kind of comes together quickly. Um, let me see, I have, uh, this is my new one, a Ben of All Trades that I illustrated. Um, written by Michael J. Rosen. Um, some pages like like this is the title page here. All the details on all these little all the boats. That took a long time. Um, so I think I probably spent um, maybe four or five days working on this one. Where some pages, um, if they're if they're simpler, um, you know, I might get a whole page done or a two page spread in in one or two days. Um, but yeah, it depends on how detailed the pictures are. All right. Thank you all for drawing with me. Um, I hope you had fun, and, and like I said, I would love to see your art. Uh, if, you could, if you could send it my way or post it, that would be awesome. And um, I hope you all have a good week, and I look forward to drawing with you again next week. I'll see you next Monday. Thank you.